Just one touch. That's all the woman asked for. And in response to that cry of faith, Christ was willing to take away all her sicknesses and give her a new lease of life. Welcome, friends, to another episode of GCK Daily. It's been red hot during our Ghana Global Crusade, and the power of God has touched lives, and we have seen many souls saved and transformed. Here on day five, I believe you will come alive. So just sit back and listen to God's mighty word as Dr. Kamui brings the message of life to your doorstep. So gather your family and get ready for a transforming touch. Hey, let me show you one man before I go to point number two in Luke chapter 19. Christ Jesus came to town. And there was one man there that wanted to have visit ways. Christ Jesus. He had done a lot in his life. But bad things. Terrible things. He became notorious as a sinner. Everywhere he went, sin was there. Everything he did, it was stained with sin. Every word they spoke, there was sin there somehow. Even the society recognized him as a great sinner and they were about to isolate him. And the only one that could help him, the only one that could turn his life around is Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Deliverer. And so we come to Luke chapter 19, verse 5. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste for and come down, for I today I must abide. I'm going to visit you in your own house. He, he, the man did not say, no, Jesus, you can't come to my house. I didn't want to be that close to you or familiar. I just wanted to see you as we were passing. He didn't say that. Make haste and come down. Today is your day. Hurry up. Today is when the Savior, when redemption will come to your heart and to your home. Hurry up and come. Many people hurry up for many other things. Looking for money, they hurry up. Looking for a man or a woman, they hurry up. Looking for joy, they hurry up. Looking to go and watch their games, their favorite games, they hurry up. Looking to go overseas, they hurry up. But the greatest thing you can have in life, salvation from the Lord, the greatest thing you can have in life, the removal of your sin, the greatest thing you can have in life, that you have the joy and the peace and the salvation of the Lord in your heart. They don't hurry up. They are sluggish. They are slow. They are retarded. They are looking down and they are walking as if they cannot walk. But Jesus said, if you want this greatest sin, I want to visit your home. I want to visit your house. I want to visit your heart. Hurry up. And, and then in verse 6, it says, And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. That's how you know somebody who wants the redemption of the Lord, the visitation of the Lord, the salvation of the Lord. He didn't say, no, I'm a big man. He didn't say, I'm too high for that. 
He didn't say, with my money and my riches, I cannot do that. I always see many people on a glorious day like this. And the Lord wants them to hurry up and repent. Hurry up and believe. Hurry up and be saved. Hurry up and leave the evil in your hand and come into goodness, the graciousness of God. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your power. Thank you because it is not your will that anybody should perish in sin. You promised salvation, you provided salvation through Christ. And these ones indicating their desire for salvation, they turn away from their sins and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who has taken our sins away. We're asking, Lord, forgive them now in Jesus' name. Grant them your free and full salvation from sin in Jesus' name. Grant everyone the grace to begin to live as new creatures in Christ. We believe, Lord. We accept, Lord. We rely totally upon you and not our feeling. And we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we bless your name. We glorify you because of who you are. Anywhere, anytime, in any generation, when people call upon your name, you always answer. And we're asking tonight to visit everyone with your miracle healing power in Jesus' name. You said, whosoever comes, you will in no wise cast out. And whatever we need, whatever we desire, as we pray and believe, you said, we will receive. And I pray that that healing virtue, that healing power, will come to everyone in need right now. Heal your people, deliver your people, in Jesus' name. Whatever is wrong in the body from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Manifest your power. Take every evil thing away from everyone in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity and madness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Any other problem in the head, in the brain, oh Lord, touch your people now. Bring healing and deliverance to everyone. Every manner of sickness, every kind of disease, the hand of the Lord is upon you. Be healed in Jesus' name. Confirmation in every life. Performance of miracle in any life. Lord, manifest yourself now. To the left, to the right, to the back, in the center, anywhere. Let there be healing for everyone in Jesus' name. Online, any nation, any country, anywhere. Manifestation of healing and deliverance in Jesus' name.
We thank you because we know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to ask you to put your heads together with me. Like here. This will be so good. Let's just do that together. Put our hands together. Here we go. Who is like him? The lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne Mountains bow down Every ocean roars To the Lord of hosts Praise at a night From the rising of the sun Till the end of every day of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roars to the Lord of hosts of the sun to the end of every day praise night. all the ancients of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily Global Crusade with Kui we are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We would love for you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Thank you. Thank you.